Okay, today is Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. And when I came downstairs this morning, the photo over at the Incristum Credence site had changed again. Going through Yah's computer, I've been revisiting old PowerPoints. And this one was recorded in 2021, July 2021. And so it's going to be a bit of revision and so pertinent to this time now with the insanity that's going on in the world. So the three unclean spirits like frogs from Revelation 16, 13, uh, yeah, we did quite a in-depth PowerPoint a couple of years ago now, three years ago now, so this is revision. Now going back to Pythagoras, he had learned from the priests at the altar to the Lord, which is the great pyramid at Giza. He combined with reading the stars in Babylon, which spelled out the coming Messiah in the constellation of Judah. The pro-Satana mentality hidden from Pythagoras, which caused the priesthood to invent the Abraham Moses myths so that they could occupy Palestine and defeat the coming of the Lord. Now, we know that the speed of light number is the latitude of the altar to the Lord, and it ends with 0.458 kilometres per second. It's 299792.458 kilometres per second is the speed of light, and that's the latitude of the altar. And it's a, it's a giveaway, and I believe it's in the time of Ezra, from 458 BC, when the out of Babylon began the writing of the construct that we call the Old Testament today, including the Torah. So the point is, their purpose was to install into the minds of the masses their God, Moloch, and still is the Jews' God today, Draco being draconian, including blood sacrifice, child sex, and the normal secret activity of the priesthood. So the three wise men knew the Messiah was to be born and went straight to Herod, a psychopath, knowing he would kill all babies in Bethlehem. Now, as a reminder, the three frogs, the first frog is the religion of Judaism, out of the mouth of the false prophets of Babylon, the second frog is Judeo-Christianity, which comes from the first frog. And the third frog is the Muslim insanity. They are all of them Talmud-inspired. However, the, the stars tell the story. Knowledge at this time must increase as in the days of Noah. Pythagoras's pi formula, the short version of 3.14159, as Jesus, born June the 17th, 2 BC. Now, I have uh, seen some misconceptions. <laughs> Yah's conception as Jesus was September 11th, 3 BC. His birth, June the 17th, 2 BC. And it was a conjunction between Venus and Jupiter. Then the death on the cross, April 3rd, 33 AD, to live one, two, three, four, three days multiplied by pi gives a number, and it's 38776.6. So when Yah measured from St. Margaret's Maternity Hospital, where he was born, to the South Pole, the Southern Hemisphere, where Australia is, it happens to measure 3877.66 miles, pinpointing where Christ was born. 3141 in the Greek concordance actually means witness, a future uh, record of testimony. So Pi is the witness in the heavenlies. So Yah wrote, read carefully. 
Jupiter and Venus duration on July the 11th, 1944 combined was 1,471 minutes. I think Jupiter was up for, for 8.02 and 6, uh, 69 for Venus. In addition, so at the same time that this is occurring for 1,471 minutes, the distance to the sun from the Earth was the same number in millions of kilometres. It was 147,114,777 kilometres to be exact. The modern software now available was obviously in creation to be developed by astronomers in creation to come to pass. Now the PowerPoint that I actually started uh, reading last night on Yas computer was called uh, Key Keys and I was reviewing it for about an hour when I turned around for a break to my desktop computer and there learned all about the Peter Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsing. Okay, so we have revealed the three frogs, three main religions, Judaism, Judeo-Christianity and Judeo-Islam. Now the word key is found in six verses and the word keys twice. Now Yah wrote that the first key is irrelevant. It's found in Judges 3.25, part of the Babylonian myth. He wrote that our earth is held, this we know, due to knowledge being withheld. The first of the remaining five prophecies are Isaiah 22:22, and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut and none shall open. So the first key, it predicts a man who is the direct descendant of the house of David, and you're all familiar with the Simple Gematria for D-A-V-I-D, uh, multiplied, uh, gives you 3168. So you've got 4 times 1, D times A times V, so 4 times 1 times 22 times 9 times 4 total 3168, which is the Greek Gematria for Lord Jesus Christ. And it also pinpoints Nell Street, which happens to sit on the 31680 kilometre latitude around the Earth, and it measuring 3861 kilometres from the South Pole, 5813 pyramid inches is the height of the altar to the Lord, the Great Pyramid, with the capstone in place. And the block that Nell Street sat on was 888 metres. In perimeter. On the left, the key of the house of David, and then a simplified drawing of the altar to the Lord, the Great Pyramid. The location of Yah's home for 13.13 .13 years at 150 Nell Street, Greensboro, Victoria, Australia. He wrote, It cannot be more perfect. A miracle of genetics, place, time, area and distance. Now the Nell Street location is the southeast corner of the Holy City, shown to John on the Isle of Patmos. He describes descending from heaven it 12,000 furlongs intentionally mistranslated from the Greek word stadia, where we find the word in ancient Olympics of stadium. The difference in um, the length is considerable. It becomes not 1,500 miles, but 1,371.3181 miles. Now, the eight sides of the, the pyramid, you saw in the previous drawing that there's, um, in the middle of each side, there's like an indentation, so it, it actually creates eight shorter sides. And the 888 metre perimeter of the city block with eight sides aligns with Cathisma, with its eight sides, where Mary, ready to deliver, rested on a rock by a nearby wellspring, um, 
by a nearby well of spring water, rather. Now, coincidentally not, it was built in 456 AD by a wealthy Christian woman. And of course, the simple geometry of Yahweh, Jesus, Brian, Leonard, Goliath, and Marshall is 456. Threads to the incredible tapestry, this a revision for those who appreciate everything that Yah taught. Now the second key is found in Luke 11.52. Woe unto you lawyers, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. Ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. With Jesus condemning the Babylonian Sanhedrin, not entering in themselves while denying others. The third key is found in Revelation 3.7, a reference to the Church of Philadelphia, the verse itself a reference to Isaiah 22.22, 22, quoting, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. Bottom line, Christ comes to the earth via descent from the royal house of David in Go Lightly, Marshall. Now the fourth key is also in Revelation, obviously the same key, quoting Revelation 9.1. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Yah writes, the earthly realm is the hell made by 99.99% of the masses consumed by religion of some sort from Satanism, Atheism, Judeo-Babylonian, Judeo-Christianity, and Judeo-Islam all caused by the Sanhedrin of Babylon mystery religion. Reading Revelation 17.5, And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. So Yah wrote that I am given the key of hell, the earth and the bottomless pit of hell. The fifth is the last with the word key from Revelation 21. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Yah wrote that the great chain is truth. It sets you free of religions, opening the falsehood of the earth and its fake history. This demonic realm was Rather, this demonic realm has devoured by hiding within what is a mask of Jesus, covering the Satana Babylonian religion of lies, withholding my presence. There are two verses with the word keys. These are Matthew 16:19 and Revelation 1:18. Matthew 16:19 and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The second is Revelation 1.18. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and of death. Jesus, who died on the cross bleeding to death, the soul of God, the Saviour, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, resurrected alive forevermore for the simple reason, I am God. And I would say, though we can't see him at this moment, Yah is very much alive and well. So adding the five key verse numbers totals 66.64. In the Hebrew concordance is the word 
Derek from 6663, the right, natural, moral or legal, also abstractly equity or figuratively prosperity, even. And it runs uh, that which is altogether just, justice, uh, righteous, righteous cause, cause, righteously, righteousness. So then add the two keys to the total of 6664 and you get a total of 8401 in the Hebrew concordance from 1129, properly, material, that is specifically refuse harm or stalks of grain as chopped in threshing and used for fodder, chaff, straw or stubble. As Yah always did, add 8401 as days to his rebirth day of January 11th, 1944 and it is January the 11th in 1967 when Yah arrived in Canada or from his conception day Australian time April 6 1943 his conception day April 6 1966 just 17 days before I married the whore of Lithgow Australia's Sodom and Gomorrah we all know that 17 is the letter Q, it was also Adam's 17th birthday when I found you out. March 30th, 2008. Adam will be 33 this Easter Saturday, March the 30th. Yeah, so just a, a break in intensity. <laughs> Computers use binary code, a series of ones and zeros. So this was sent to us and I, I forget which year Anna may be able to, well, if she would, she'd be able to tell me, but uh, Anna was a um, very important German lady. She was the one that contacted the office of Pope Benedict XVI. She was in Germany and arranged us to be communicating with him by email and Facebook. And if we spent two wonderful weeks together with Andrea Anna. She picked us up from the the airport in Frankfurt. We spent three days at her apartment and then drove on down to Turin where the Christ himself was refused entry to the actual chapel. We had to go to the museum. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So knowing that uh, any attempt to try to see Benedict would be stopped by Francis uh, using Ganswain, the traitor. So the point of it all is the number nine in 1944 converts the code to, we've got all of those ones there, a decimal number of 507903, which is found in Hebrews 1110. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. And 5079 in the concordance is creator. Can't get away from it. It's everywhere. It's Yah recorded within the creation. Yes, an artisan, a founder, creator, builder, craftsman. That was Yar. Is Yah. <laughs> now we're changing subject again. We're going over to M42. Yah, uh, this is intimately. Uh, identified with Yar, as you're all familiar. It's a trapezium in the sheath that hangs from the belt of Orion, Orion being the hunter, representing a sheath of arrows. The constellation depicts a man drawing a bow, which is aimed at Sagittarius. The speculation by Darwin-believing astronomers never mention that the 16 light year wide hydrogen cloud, which contains the four suns, is a nursery where hydrogen gas produces suns when the gravitational forces gather, forming the four stars. The stars are estimated to be 2,000 to 2,200 times the mass of our sun. Originally in 1990, the distance to M42 from the Earth was recorded at 1,600 light years. 
Galileo Galilei built a 10 foot long telescope with a 10 inch lens. The Dutch were at that time producing large lenses, a painstaking process requiring months of grinding two pieces of glass to form the required shape. He had built the telescope as he was convinced the solar system was not orbiting the Earth, as this was the church's dictate that it was. He had become familiar with Copernicus, who said the sun was the centre of the solar system. On the 7th of January, 1610, he observed Orion and Jupiter's four largest moons. It has 82, in fact. He mapped the constellation of Orion. It has a belt and from it hangs a sheath. The point is, he did not see M42, yet can be seen today without a telescope, a large, beautiful cluster, shades of white and pink. So Galileo gave his telescope to a friend, a French lawyer, Nicolas Claude Fabry, de Paris <laughs> He discovered M42 on the 26th of November 1610. He reported his discovery to the famous astronomers and some had telescopes, yet they could not see it. It had vanished. Yet Perisek was well respected, not a man who would invent what he saw, and yet had vanished before his eyes. Some years later it reappeared and later it vanished once again. In Carl Sagan's Easy Cosmos, he along with 100 astronomers had compiled the software. The distance was easily ascertained to be 1600 light years distant and 16 light years width. He also suggested the birth of Jesus was June 17th, 2 BC, when Venus aligned with Jupiter in the constellation of Leo, it representing Judah. Palestine. Yeah, I wrote that it was not until I began uploading to YouTube December 20th, 2006, the shock to the Mossad watching my every move increased the width of M42 from 16 to 24 light years and the distance from the Earth from 1600 light years down to 1344 light years. 256 plus or minus closer and eight light years wider. This indicates it is getting closer and wider in 30 years or it is the altering of these distances to avoid my suggestion it was flickering on and off. Alerting Venus was approaching Jupiter. The Magi were from Babylon as they told Herod they saw the star from the east. Babylon is east of Bethlehem and the flickering on and off stopped to shine directly over Bethlehem. M42 rise at 420 in the east in line with Bethlehem. Jupiter rise at 802 and set at 2141 for a total of 819 minutes. In the Hebrew concordance, a sin offering, which is why Jesus came. In Greek concordance, dishonour, shame, which is the Isaiah 53 prophecy. Now the number 2141 is the date the two opposing scored lines in the descending passage in my altar to the Lord, dated by astronomers to be 12 noon, March the 21st. 2141 BC. The descending passage points to the pole star which was Draco, the god of the present day Jews and ancient Babylonians. Pythagoras, born 570 BC, travelled extensively from Iran to Egypt where he studied the altar to the Lord, remaining 20 years then captured by the Babylonian army, taken to Babylon, where he remained for 30, rather 13 years, studying astrology and educating the astronomer priesthood.
Now this is a conjunction, Jupiter and Venus, January the 11th, 1944, Yars rebirth date. Jupiter, 6.42 and Venus, 8.29, totaling 14.71. The distance to the Sun, 14.71, 14777, that number that I did remember <laughs> in the first slide. And it's found in Luke 2, 5, quoting, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And the 1471 is to be great with child. Going back 280 days, a perfect human Gestation is April the 6th, 1943, the 96th day of the year. The resurrection was April the 5th, 33 AD, or the 6th in Sydney at 2.22 AM. According to my mother, wrote Yah, she was in labour for 55 hours and 5 minutes. 555 is Christ. It's the number of times that... The word Christ is found within 522 verses, and 522 is actually mother measure. <laughs> and she told me she was celibate, warned by her Jewish doctor not to have any more children. He convinced her a further pregnancy would endanger her life, as she had been diagnosed with a kidney problem. 1471, the distance to the sun on my birth date, at the speed of light, 490.72207 seconds. In the Greek concordance, 4907 is intellect, knowledge, understanding. And it's found in Mark 23, the greatest commandment, and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the soul and with all the strength and to love his neighbour as himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. These are the two commandments Jesus instituted, to love God with all of your heart, mind and soul, and your neighbour as yourself. As the world is gearing up for the red heifer uh, sacrifices, uh, it's either happened or happening in uh, Israel, the counterfeit, synagogue of Satan. Okay, reiterating the sun distance, the day that Yah was born, 1471, and the Jupiter and Venus duration means in the Greek concordance, great with child, from that which we read earlier, Luke 2, 5. And yes, a swelling inside that is pregnant, great with child. Now Yah writes that the descending passage of the altar to the Lord has two scored lines opposite each other. The passage today points to Polaris and YBS 286 beside it. It is therefore today pointing always to God. Remember it was Draco at the time of Jesus. Now astronomers again calculated correctly the date, the 21st of March, 2141 BC. Or astronomy programs do not use BC or AD, therefore 2141 BC is minus 2140 rather. The time is based on the position of the moon. We easily find the precise location over the Earth's surface. A line from the Earth's centre to the moon where it exits the Earth's surface is 20.31 degrees north and 119.16 degrees east. From this point on the Earth's surface, we measure to the corner of the holy city, my home that was on Nell Street, Greensboro, Melbourne, it 5813 kilometres from the South Pole on a latitude 31680 kilometres around the Earth and it measures in nautical miles 4990. In the Greek concordance is God, Christ, Saviour. 
found in John 4.42, quoting, And said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, God, the Saviour of the world. Now the same number, 4990, is the distance from an 11-tiered pyramid on Tahiti, its base in feet measuring 267 times 87 for a total of 23,229 square feet and as days is the age of my grandfather when I was reborn, Francis Aloysius Golightly and that many days is 63.6 .6 years and leads us over to Job 26.7, the length of uh, the base of the pyramid. Quoting, he stretcheth out the north over the empty place and hangeth the earth upon nothing. So empty space, then God created the earth and hung it in an empty space upon nothing. Then we're all familiar in Yah's revelation of Isaiah 63 verses 1 through to 6. Or revision. Verse 1 Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bosra? This that is glorious in his apparel, travelling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. So you can see that this is a question and then an answer. Another question. The Shakespeare hint Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Answer, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. Now the great pyramid altered to the Lord, speed of light latitude as explained thus far. The king bursts open the king's coffer, walks out through the king's chamber, out past the antechamber at 116.26 pyramid inches wide, reveals the genetic lineage of my return to the earth as the Holy Ghost. The descending passage has two lines opposite each other and is associated correctly with the alignment of the passage when Draco was the pole star. These lines give us a precise date and time, that being noon of the 21st of March, the spring equinox in the north, it's the autumnal equinox in the south, of the year 2141 BC. So measuring from the moon position on that date in time back to this home here in Tugum, it measures 4,990 nautical miles. Again, Greek, Saviour, Christ or God. So all that distance backward in time, it's predicting, it is, is, it's telling of the future, this time now, from this home where the Christ would be until he left to go behind the veil on the 3rd of October 2022. He is well and truly orchestrating events for the collapse of the world that needs to occur and the world being the geopolitical construct, not the earth, his creation. 
Now the moon wobbles, it also rotates slightly. This effect seen in time lapse means the exact centre is changing daily. We can calculate the precise moment in the middle. Therefore, a date can be found. January 11th, 1944 at 2.22 a.m. Yars rebirth day and hour. Now Mars bumped the Earth, causing the moon to be ejected through Antarctica. All the water poured off Mars, raising the Earth's oceans 168 feet. That made available a former bridge, it was a land bridge known today as the Straits of Gibraltar, allowing the Atlantic to flow in one direction into the Mediterranean. The water evaporates faster than the Atlantic pours in, a constant free hydroelectric source. The moon's gravity changed life on Earth, the oceans constantly rising and falling. Gravity increased. All large animals collapsed under their new weight and died. However, the billions of asteroids blasted out by the impact of Mars, only a few were to be drawn into the moon, leaving white elongated impact craters among the bubbles astronomers call craters. The moon wobbles and so, as the drawing shows, the centre aligns with Australia being the same width, 2160 miles, and pinpoints the descending passage and occurred on January 11th, 1944. Note how these impacts fit the pyramid's main points of interest. The landline of 1880.5 miles is the age of Francis Golightly, born June the 6th. He was born in uh, England, so it would have um, been the fifth in England in 1880. So here is Australia placed over the moon, how perfectly it fits. Yar wrote the impact crater marks the entrance into the descending passage back into hell, April 6, 1943, his conception day. And this is the impact Greater here. I've just discovered this little pointer I can use that will be recorded as I'm... Yeah, okay. Um, now, uh, because my mother, Daphne Golightly, had to conceive 1910 years after the resurrection in 33 AD of the same date, the soul of Christ, God Almighty, in 33 AD, went from the black subterranean chamber, death on the cross, where I, as Jesus, ascended bodily back up the passage to heaven for my rebirth. Finally, I passed down the grand gallery and along into the Queen's chamber that today is Sodom and Gomorrah. And then the three frogs, the three religions of the whore. The measurements shown can be read via the Strong's Concordance. Now the red lines point to a square, so these two red lines here you can see the tiny white square there in the black. And it is one eighth of 286.1, the displacement factor, which is 35.7625 pyramid inches each side. This pinpoints the center of Australia. The red descent from heaven and then up the black tunnel into the grotto, that's this area here, a naturally formed tomb. In it, the rock forms a lamb's head. From there to resurrection, to emerge out of the grand gallery, the earth, then through the passage into the
the king's coffer. Gestation, nine months, bursts the womb and then out through the passage to complete the baby's life until now, until the 3rd of October 2022. So the grotto tells us the builders knew they would find it buried in the bedrock but first tunnel down the descending passage, starting on the center point of the Earth's landmass, then stop, level off, then drill 26 feet long tunnel, which is simple geometry for God, horizontally to find the huge naturally formed subterranean chamber that is hell or Jerusalem. Jesus back out after being witnessed by over 500 risen saints and the masses in Jerusalem, ascends back to heaven after 49 days because not born of man is sinless and cannot fall into hell, the pit. Meanwhile, from the cross, Christ, the soul of Jesus from the Father, was separated as Christ in the blood from the Father, the Holy Ghost, must remain and descend for 1910 years in hell. Sheol, the sea below the pit in the subterranean chamber. The cross, therefore, from Jerusalem, Babylonian Judaism, is the subterranean chamber, so that from the cross, Christ, God, numbered 14, rather 4990, descends into hell. So the cross separated the Holy Ghost Christ, God, that conceived Jesus from the Father. Hence the blood on the shroud, male. Back up the descending passage, 286.1 pyramid inches, and then up to the grotto of the Lamb, a womb, then up through the grand gallery and into the gestation in Daphne, the royal woman. Now going back to Ezekiel 24, 24, 2424 is Jesus in the Greek concordance and Ezekiel in the Hebrew concordance is numbered 3168. But Ezekiel 24, 24, thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign. According to all that he hath done shall ye do. And when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord God. So Yah writes, obviously, an end time message for you, what I have done. Know that I am the Lord and copy my videos and upload. The name Ezekiel is found twice in the book of Ezekiel. The first in 1.3 and the second in 24.24. Reading Ezekiel 1.3, the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was there upon him. Now, Ezekiel is telling us the Babylon Sanhedrin of 70 men has invaded Jerusalem. The abominations they do is then and spread worldwide today. And thanks to Caiaphas' letter, telling the Babylonian Sanhedrin Jesus was dead yet appeared to him, Jesus was the Messiah. Again, a switching in tone, Yah wrote, as said, the world is devoured by immorality. I, as a 17-year-old, had to marry a small-town harlot, have children, divorce, then find Mary Magdalene in Melbourne. The daughters of both are abominations of extreme immorality. The three locations from my birth home reveals a three sides shape. The home of my first wife, the area is 31101 square metre block and its latitude is Messiah's. These persons are revealed in the antechamber. So I burst the womb, the king's coffer, walk out the 286.1 p. 
pyramid inch length enter the passage past the 11.26 pyramid inch antechamber, giving us my age when I married harlot number one, 1162.6 weeks old. Daughter to stepdaughter, 11.626 years. So that was from Tracy Lead to Rhiannon. Then the age between Mary Magdalene and myself, 1162.6 days. The home on Nell Street on a latitude 31680 kilometres around the earth. The base of the holy city, it 5813 kilometres to the South Pole, on and on. <laughs> and Yara wrote, so if you still don't get it, have a child pointed out to you. It's the gumboots. So the three locations, Yars Rebirth Home on the right and then uh, heading due west, Eileen, wife number one, Messiah's Latitude and 31101 square metres, the number of verses in the King James 11 Bible, down to the home on Nell Street with Mary. Three sides totaling 1471. Hello. Be great with child. But an area of 37,800 square kilometres, and there's 3780 in the Hebrew concordance, is to be covered with flesh. Again, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child, from Luke 2 5. Yeah, so these are just a, 3875, of course, miles to the South Pole is the Greek. Uh, word for comforter, which is what Yah was and is, and is also the centre of gravity of the altar to the Lord. So briefly, the cross of April 3rd, 33 AD, a blood moon occurred, and it was seen first in Australia. Now, of course, time is measured by the lunations of the moon, 29.53052 days precisely. And the moon there, the antechamber width, 116.26 pyramid inches. So the distance in time between uh, daughters and stepdaughters, days between he and Mary Magdalene, and Yah's age in weeks. As weeks, it's 8138 days. And... As you know, the three measures of the king's chamber when added reveals Yah's rebirth date, Julian Day 2431101, which is why the King James 1611 Bible alone is uh, the tool that Yah used. Nothing else, not the 1769 or any other version, it was the 1611, that was the one put into his hand for the 31101, aligning with his rebirth date on Julian days. Also, 260 chapters within the New Testament, and that was the uh, lunation number when Yah was born. 537 pyramid inches down below there is from the great step to the far wall of the king's chamber. And... Yes, in online concordances, that's the number of Christs that can be found, but even more spectacularly, when you drop a plumb line from Yah's rebirth location at 105 Rothschild Avenue, drop a plumb line, and then the line around the latitude of Nell Street that measures 31680 kilometres, where they intersect, it's 537 kilometres to the home on Nell Street. That, to me, is... A God thing. So on the left, the subterranean chamber, and then beneath it you can clearly see the grotto, the lamb's head, a natural formation in the bedrock. And Yah writes, both naturally formed in creation. The centre is a pit down to sea level, death on the cross. My soul, God, Christ, 4990 in the Greek concordance, descends into hell. Conceived April 6, 1943, 
and then born again on 11th of January, 1944. So the concordance lists the name Ezekiel as 3168. So we could say Lord Jesus Christ 3168 is told to see the abominations of the earth represented by Jerusalem, Talmudic Judaism, Talmudic Christianity and Talmudic Islam to see the abominations of the daughters of the whore of Babylon, Jerusalem. So reading from Ezekiel 8, 6, and the number 86 is Hades, properly unseen, that is Hades, or the place, state of departed souls, grave, hell, and Yah wrote the earth today. So reading verse 6, he said, Furthermore unto me, son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary? But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel, the bracketed Sanhedrin Babylon, and in the midst of them stood Jazaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery. For they say, the Lord seeth us not. The Lord hath forsaken the earth. Verse 13. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. finish on this slide with uh, Australia over the moon. It all fits so perfectly with the altar to the Lord, the holy city measuring 12,000 stadia square or 1379.3181 miles square. 1379 in Hebrew is border and the 0 0.3181 in Greek is also border. However, it is 2,220 kilometres, yards, rebirth, hour, his weight as an adult, and the number of times or verses that the word truth and wisdom are found within the KJV 1611 Bible. Perfection.